Hi there, this is Nathan Moss from Northland Phoenix. Today I'd like to share the project that Michelle and I have been working on today, which is the installation of our bird and butterfly garden. And I'd like to share a technique with you called sheet mulching that we're working on. Um, we've never used it before, but supposedly everybody really likes it. So one of the key advantages of sheet mulching is that it's very good at preventing weeds. Like normally when you till a garden, like you put manure in a garden and you till it in, you have a tendency of disturbing the soil and like raising a whole bunch of new weed seeds up to the surface. But in sheet mulching, it has a tendency of reducing that type of effect. So it's great for establishing new gardens. And also we're going to use it because we don't actually own a tiller. So it makes it convenient for us because we can just set it on top of things. So when we look at sheet mulching, like what, what exactly is it? It's like first you layer a layer of cardboard on the ground and then secondly you start laying your different organic materials on top of it. I mean usually you have a slight variation in it but like for us we're gonna do a lot of uh, horse manure and co composted horse manure. We got it from two different sources. We got uh, one that came in bags that's re relatively fresh horse manure and one that came in uh, like a pre-composted form that's been sitting for a year. So like here, I'll, let me show you what we got so far. So the first little bit I showed you is the, the relatively fresh horse manure. You know, it's been sitting for a little while, but not, uh, not as long. So we're gonna put, we layered that on top of the cardboard first. And then we're gonna put the, the, more comp, the more finished stuff on top of it. And over, I mean, we don't plan on getting the bird and butterfly garden completely finished this year because we're kind of halfway into summer. But we really want to get some perennials like put in there like uh, so they're ready to take off next year like let them get their roots going a little bit and then next year they should be ready to take off um, what else do i need to tell you oh one of the big key ingredients is i mean first it's the cardboard you know to make sure that you suppress all the weeds because like the weeds and the grass that's underneath it have uh, a really hard time um, penetrating through the thick layers of cardboard. But in a, in a year or maybe two years, the cardboard will decompose into, uh, turn into dirt. So the second thing that I wanted to tell you that we're gonna do is that uh, after we get everything settled, we're gonna put the, we're gonna make little pockets and we're gonna put some of our existing uh, manure worms or red wigglers, which we use for composting our food into the, the pile to let it, them kind of take a turn, you know, going at it. So they'll have like a little home while stuff starts to decompose and then they should help the process move along pretty quickly or more quickly than it would if they weren't there. And also we should attract, you know, lots of earthworms from the ground as well. So hopefully in a year or two we will have like super rich soil and it, hopefully in the meantime the, the composted stuff we will have will really help uh, the plants we put in there thrive. Oh, and another thing is that we were gonna, where we were gonna plant the plants is we were gonna dig a little hole and fill it full of uh, potting soil or dirt so we can have that as a growing medium while the rest of it takes shape. Okay, and here I want you to see, say hi to Reese. Our little buddy's hanging out while we're doing some gardening. And then in a little while I'll, sh I'll do a, a video of uh, what our garden looks like to date. So you guys can have a chance to see it. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Alright. Here I'm going to show you what our um, bird and butterfly garden looks like when the sheet mulching is finished. And then in some future videos, we will show you what it looks like after we've planted everything.
which is probably be like a week or two or three or who knows. We're just mostly trying to get it ready for next year as like, you know, we're kind of right in the heart of the season anyway, so we can let plants get down and take their roots and everything. All right, so here's the finished sheet mulching project. So mostly that is just composted cow or composted cow manure, composted horse manure on top of f like fresh horse manure that'll compost over the upcoming year. All right, thanks a lot. Have a great day.